Yeah, okay, why don't we get started? Um, the, Michael, why don't you, um, Mike, you just want to give a little background of, of what happened and, and where we are with this abatement. Mike? You're muted. So Mrs. Uh, is it Jirac? I can't remember. I don't know how to pronounce that, but 36 Church Street. She, um, she's, you know, she's in her 90s and she doesn't go down in her basement. And uh, actually Harold French stopped down at lunch one day about two weeks ago. And um, um, one of the Ozaks, one, uh, I can't remember, is it Mary? Mary. Mary, mm -hmm. Mary. Mary's the caregiver and uh, they had water all over the floor down in the basement. So they called Harold pressure relief on the boiler was just running water. So um, uh, I talked to one of the ODACs and gave her the process to do the abatement and, you know, told them the usual situation with paying for the water and getting a sewer abatement because the water didn't go into the sewer. So she called Christine, called Jen to get on the agenda, and then came up with the, uh, I don't know if you guys had time to read the abatement stuff, but yeah, um, yep. the bill the bill was for $1,000, $1,090.22, and Christine went back a few years and um, adjusted the bill and abated $434.58 off the uh, sewer charge, the bill's now six hundred and fifty-five dollars and sixty-four cents. Um, so that's uh, that's basically it. I mean, you know, the pressure relief on the boiler was just blowing off, and they didn't. It was faulty, and they real. It was probably going for you know a long time. So what Christine actually what prompted it was um, it's on the it's on the note in here. Uh, when we have, when we read water meters, the water meter reader tells us somebody's water's been running for 24 hours a day and it indicates leak uh, flag goes off on that account. So when Christine does the bills, she, um, she uh, puts in a slip that's, you know, when we read your meter, you have a, uh, a leak indicator. So that's what prompted them to look down in the basement. And when they opened the door, all the water was down there. So that's, that's, uh, that's why they filed. Right? And that's when they, that's when they found the leak. So. Yeah. I guess swimming pool in the cellar. Yeah. So that's, um, yeah. Yeah. And, they're, and they're aware of that, Mike, that there's a, the abatement in this uh, $434. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Peter, are you good with that? So let me get this straight. So they're asking for an abatement. On the sewer. On the sewer. That Okay. I'm fine yeah. with the sewer abatement. Is, is Marge, are you her daughter? I am. Yes. I am her daughter. Can you hear me? Hi, Marge. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yes. So, um, so yeah, that's basically the story. My mom is 97 years old and of course can't go down in the basement. And um, when she got the water bill, she immediately called the plumber and he went down and determined there was, um, as, as he said, there was a leak down there. And um, he repaired it. And the odd thing though, is she had had the furnace checked out in the fall and they uh, didn't find any problem then in the fall. So, um, so whatever happened, happened sometime after that. Um, so, um, my mom is on a really limited income, so I know you, um, have either granted or are going to possibly grant this abatement for her, um, but it still leaves her with a water bill of roughly maybe double what she usually pays, so I don't know if it's possible, but if you could consider granting her uh, possibly more reduction, um, you know, I'd, I'd appreciate you just considering that um, uh, so that she could, you know, more easily afford the, uh, the water bill. Um, you know, I feel like she did everything she could possibly do. And, um, and uh, 
So I leave it up to you to, to see, to decide, you know, what, what's best. Peter. Yeah, I'm fine with the, uh, I'm fine with the, uh, the sewer portion of it. Um, we have typically in these situations, that's how we, we address um, an abatement uh, when there's a water leak. I mean, it is the homeowner's responsibility to make sure that they're, although they're plumbing is um, functioning properly. Um, so in all fairness, I, I, I think that the uh, abating the sewer um, portion of this um, would be fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I appreciate, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to, uh, to discuss this and uh, thank you for your time. I'm glad you I'm glad you came. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Um, so Jennifer, I will come and sign that uh, okay. probably tomorrow. Yeah, I'm there in the morning, um, Wednesday and Thursday. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll do it. Um, I'll do it tomorrow morning. Okay. Okay. Curtisville Bridge update, Mike. Uh, the Curtisville Bridge, um, the uh, Keller William, I think it's WM William Keller and Sons, they are ordering materials. Um, I've been um, getting some emails back and forth with um, the, the estimator and getting a couple calls from E.J. Prescott for the water portion of the uh, just fittings and stuff like that. So they're ordering materials. Um, I haven't heard it. Otherwise, I haven't heard it. Um, on scale. Uh, okay. So we're moving ahead. All right. Yep. Good. All right. Uh, Tony Pump Station, Park Street. Uh, yeah. I spoke with our uh, consultant, Dave Cricket, yesterday, and um, he is uh, still getting his, his uh, ducks in a row and wants to have something for us uh, by midweek next week. Um, but after a verbal conversation with him yesterday, um, from what he's found out so far and what his inclination is, is um, by um, the town purchasing certain components of the pump station, you know, privately or independently, um, instead of going through the contractor, um, you know, he's going to go out on a limb. He went out on a limb yesterday and told me it'd be about a 15 to 20 percent savings off the other number that we had. Wow. The original number, um, you know, hopefully, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, on, on the on, on the other note on that, uh, Mike and I both met with uh, Mike Canales yesterday, and you know, kind of reiterated that same information to him that I just told you, um, and he ran some quick, some quick, quick math, um, and um, also recommended, on his recommendation, I submitted to him. Um, the the number of the first estimate for the station, which was seven hundred twenty eight thousand, to use for the uh, number to present to the finance committee, hoping that will come in much less, but always good to ask for enough, and um, you know come in under. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of um, where that is at the moment. And he also did some quick math while we were <clears throat> having our budget meeting with him, and um, basically I. You know, with the percentage rates the way they are today in today's market, if they stay this way until we can, you know, secure a loan, um, a 20-year note would basically, on the 728,000, now we did this, would basically cost the sewer department roughly 35,000 a year for 20 years. Okay. Which is an alarming number to me anyway. Yeah. Yeah. What? What's that? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you think it's alarming, or you don't? Yeah, yeah. That's a big number. That's a big but, number. Yeah. But, but you're saying that you know that's for seven hundred twenty thousand. If we get yeah. that, you know, we get that down and get that down. What's a percent? Is it? It's not two percent, but uh, you know, I really don't know that. What What he based that on? Um, mm -hmm. I, I got to think it's around two percent. I mean, the the normal mortgage now is. Pretty much around two. Yeah. Well, the, the SRF is always two, 20 years, 2%. Right. So 
Right. And then they might, if we can get lower than that somewhere else, that's all well and good. Mike talked about TD Bank. Uh, yeah, I don't think he was talking about SRF funding for this. No, not at all. No. no. Regular bank funding, huh? Wow. And he said that, uh, you know, the beauty of it is, and Tony was mentioned it yesterday, talked to him, uh, that the $97,000 is done in two years, Tony? 2024. 2024. Yeah. So three fiscal roughly. year. Fiscal year 2024. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Then we're then we're in wonderful shape. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the that's the rationale behind you know, I mean, right now we're paying around ninety eight thousand a year for a sewer right. debt service, and uh, you know if we could pay thirty five thousand or less. We're still in great, then we're in, still in great shape. Yeah, we'd you know. still be able to certainly afford it. Yeah, and we're only, oh, yeah. just only paying for 25%. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Town, town's covering 300000 Yeah. Well, I'm hoping by next week to have, you know, actual um, hard copy documents that we I can email out to you guys for review. And, um, you know, I guess we'll get back to it. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good. Uh, Tuckerman Bridge progress, Mike. Same. Just uh, we got to wait for. Uh, I submitted the the. Um, Mike has new forms, uh, special articles, and I submitted the uh, quote from Foresight and um, the forms that had to fill out. And we'll just wait. For, we just got to wait for town meeting. Okay. Um, speaking of that, in in the budgets. Uh, said everybody is, is, is on the same page and Jennifer will have in the minutes. You just want to go over the special articles again, Mike and Tony. So the two that I have are cleaning of the quiet knoll tank, which I believe is $4,000. And the special article for uh, Tuckerman Bridge Hearing for the water main replacement is I want to say thirty six thousand or thirty seven thousand something like that. Okay. And Tony, uh, yeah, I have. Um, I we or I submitted uh, yesterday to Mike Canales uh, two two special articles. One for the um, purchase of the replacement sewer grinder on the grit channel. Um, that was for uh, twenty two thousand. It also has a, uh, a quote attached to it. Um, and I can scan and email these to you if you want. Um, and also um, I submitted another one for 12,500 for a new sewer camera with locator um, for, the, uh, for the town meeting as well. Okay. Um, years before, let's say five or six years before, remember we always went to the finance committee and I got that thing from the finance committee that, you know, never mind the level funding and stuff, they wanted to, to really go over things one, you know, almost item by item. Are they still talking about that or have they talked about meeting with us, meeting with you? Is there any movement on that at all? Because I've got this thing, I think maybe from Jennifer or something that, um, concerning the finance committee and, and this whole budget thing, or maybe I was reading it in the paper, probably reading it in the paper. I think, I think, and Mike, correct me if I'm wrong or jump in. Um, when we met with Mike Canales yesterday, um, everyone's supposed to have their documents in by the 5th, which is Friday, um, from the departments. And then I think he's um, preparing them to for selectman review. And, um, and after that, um, I believe we are going to meet with the finance committee by department. Oh, okay. Okay. Is that, is that how, what he said, Mike? Did I get yes. that right? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you just want to keep me informed of that or us informed of when you guys are meeting? Yep. Okay. Sure. Great. Um, access road update at the plant? Still same, just waiting for um, the up cooling state and um this this mike's waiting for response from the state so same status as last meeting okay and the guys are in the uh the building now the highway garage yeah yeah yep, okay. they are so that that's great imagine everyone yeah. about that um 
Okay. Uh, can, I, can I just ask yes, a quick question? Can we jump back to the budget just quick? Sure. Um, only just because, you know, we, we weren't actually asked to level fund. We were actually asked to cut. And um, we discussed this with Michael Canales yesterday. Um, Mike and I both, um, I believe you did too, Buff, um, reduced your energy line item. Yeah. Electricity. And um, we, we looked at a couple other things in the sewer budget. One was the safety budget of $2,000, which I only spent 600 last year of. So we reduced it to a thousand to kind okay. of uh, help the cause. Mm -hmm. And um, what was the other one? I can't remember. There was two. There was three for the sewer. The other one was a small decrease of a couple thousand dollars in. in I think it was might have been telephone. But yeah, but you, something you know, that was pretty incidental to our, you know, functionality down there. But but still, you you cut down. So they the the solar thing is finally generating, eh? I believe so. I believe that's, you know, starting to really, you know, make a difference. Yeah, good. Our, our energy costs in my budget used to be 50,000 putting in that heat system that we got the grant for reduced us a big, a bunch, but I mean, I think I've spent 18,000 in the last couple of years and my budget's 39 two. So I took like thousand dollars out um, just to keep a nice, still keep a cushion in there just in case. Because every once in a while, that solar array, they'll get some wacky bill, and then they start looking for money in everybody's budget. And if you remember correctly, a couple of years ago, last year, yeah, the sewer budget got hammered because uh, when Danielle was still there, because the Amoresco uh, hit us with a thirty-eight thousand dollar bill, um, and then they had no idea. <laughs> Tony was the only person with money left in his budget. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They were. I think they used about twenty thousand out of the sewer electric line. So, um, but that's really that. That's come. It's you know. It's generating, and uh, the the solar credits are definitely offsetting the costs for the the town sewer uh, or uh, the town electric. I'm sorry, uh, dramatically. So, which is great. Yeah, yeah. That's good. So my one comment on this is that ever since I've been on the commission, which is like two hundred years now. We've been asked to Jeez. level fund. Oh, <laughs> yes. We've been asked to level fund, and Mike and Tony have done a great job at level funding. Now we're asking them to cut. I mean, how, <laughs> you know, don't we take inflation into account here? I mean, how are you guys getting paid? Uh, do you get regular <laughs> paychecks or what? <laughs> They've actually uh, asked us to cut that too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want I want one percent cut on that. Yeah. 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 I, I, no, I think I think it's a tribute to a lot of a lot of things that these guys do. It's uh, that's why we're still the best department in town. It's a uh, well run guys do a great job. Yes, they do. Yes, absolutely. And speaking Teamwork. of conflict of interest form, Peter Sosha, did oh, you? Oh, I know. I got I got to get that to Terry. Me too. I have not done it yet. <laughs> I might fill it out like Joe Tra Joe Tracy used to do. You know, keep clicking until you get the right one. <laughs> yes, I, I've done that as well. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I just wanted to you know, comment. You know, you know, they ought to give the test to people that actually have access to town money, not not folks like you and I, John. Yeah, John. That, that's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> we have to take it as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and with that, Peter Sosha. Uh, I have chairman on here. Yes, I'm, they, I'm, I'm going to nominate you, Don. Because you're such a veteran uh, on the force, uh, I think probably you would, you would want to do that to, and, and to experience no, no, it, Peter. No, no, I think, Don, that you have done such an excellent job over the years that, and I'm sure John Leodici will agree with me that, that you know, we, we couldn't possibly chair, change the chairmanship from- Stop it, so there's money in it, Sosha. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll do the um, I'll be the I'll I'll do the secretary and I'll do the town report for you. How's that? You, the town report. That's next. And thank you. Well, we got one of the two right anyway. <laughs> that's the okay. that's the compromise. Oh, okay. Thank you. So you're doing the town report. Great. Um, 
we'll get stuff to you, Peter, that, you know, granted with a COVID year, it's been a wacky one, but we can, I mean, you'll probably want me and Tony to write up some stuff. Yeah, That's, I mean, do, uh, just, you know, like you did, you've done for Tom in the past. Yeah. And I'll uh, see, you know, I'll take a look at what, you know, he's done in the past and, and. Uh, you should, you certainly have big shoes to fill. Absolutely. I know. I, mean, it's, you, it's, I, I thought maybe that if we had some money in the budget, we could have Tom come back and do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're cutting back. We can't. He will be invited to our Christmas party if we have it, though. Oh, of so, course. Of course. Of course. Um, Tony, the list of uh, private sewer lines and owners. Yes. Um, so I'm trying to do some detective work on this. Um, I've come up with... A total of seven. Um, there was a couple per our conversation down a couple weeks ago that we kind of took off the list, but that's fine. Yep. I didn't include those. So what I came up with is uh, Chesterwood, Train Hill Road, Quiet Knoll Road, Bean Hill Road, a small section of um, Outer East Main Street, Ice Glen Road, and Larry Rock Cross Road. And of the seven, um, I've been able to actually make contact via phone with three people. Um, I've spoke with Riverbrook, you know, representing Ice Glen. Um, I've spoke with uh, a fellow named Greg Eshman, who owns Brayman's Old House on Larry Walk. Oh, yes. Yep. And um, obviously, you guys got the letter from the folks up at Quiet Knoll. Um, so they're on board. Um, Greg Eshman, after finding out that he owns a sewer main in a town road, absolutely would love to have us take ownership of it. Okay. And um, I spoke to a gal at um, Riverbrook. Um, I was trying to get a hold of Joan Burkhart, and I found out for conversation with the lady down there that she's no longer the executive director there. Yeah, and, I think she's uh, just so a... I left word with this person. Can't remember mm -hmm. who I talked to. I have it written down on my desk. Um, that she was going to contact the new executive director, and um, you know, have a conversation about it with her and um, I left all my contact information and I haven't heard back. That was like last maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh. Um, and um, I'm having a hard time with a couple of the places, uh, you know, because our, our listings of people's numbers are landlines and a lot of people don't have them anymore. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping to get in touch with Christine this week and see if she has contact information for the folks up on Train Hill. Yeah. Um, which, you know, I found it, I found it, as a matter of fact, I was going through the train hill folder of our sewer connections, you know, the tie cards and stuff. And I found a letter that I had typed in, in 2005 um, to the residents up there stating that um, the town has um, inspected the sewer main installation. And in one year's time, we will um, assume ownership of it. Uh, so oh. I think that I think that they are under the assumption that we already do maintain, own it and maintain it. Um, however, I'm sure they're not going to want to not give it to us, but I guess we just have to back up, retrace our steps and make sure that um, we receive word from them in writing that that's what they want to do, I guess. If you, if you don't find the number from Christine, will you maybe just send them a letter, Tony? Yeah, we could do that. Or I could, I'm hoping she has like an email contact. Right, or right, right. That'd be the easiest Yes. easiest way that way i could you know just have a paper trail and yeah well, i've looked for uh phone numbers in the past tone um terry takes in all the census stuff okay and terry's a really good one to try to get uh right. email and phone numbers from because i i i uh grabbed that reverse 911 binder out of your desk yeah and that i i struck out several times with that just because i think it's just older information and that, no, that's actually the newest one. They just gave me that. They just sent that to me like six months. Not, it's not even a year old, so it's pretty new. Well, what happens but, is, is it's, it's only the 298 numbers. Yeah. It's yeah. not the person. They don't, I, don't, I don't know if they just don't have the personal cells in there. Yeah. And, and most of them were, uh, when I dialed them, came up, uh, the numbers no longer um, active. Huh. Yeah. Hey, Don, if I can just interrupt for a minute, if you guys are all good with me, I got to get driving to Monument to get Marco to a basketball practice. No, no. Okay. Take off, so Mark. as far as any concerns, I don't have anything else to add. And um, always a pleasure to see everybody. And I'm going to leave the meeting if everybody's good. Yeah, I'm yes. good.
Okay. Have a good, ha have a good time next week. Yes, thank you. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning, Tone. Okay, sounds good. All right, thanks. Okay, take care. So um, to back up just a little bit, uh, that's also a special article, but it's not a monetary article, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did submit it to Mike Canales that, you know, we want to create, even if we don't get everybody this year, right. Right. Um, there's definitely three now that we can uh, move on so far. How about East so, Main? Is that that the person in Don's house is? You know, Don, that's a tough one because that's, you know, obviously Don Farley created that. She's deceased now. And I think there's been three other, it might be the third owner since then. And I don't know. Wow. I'll get in touch with them. I don't know if, if it carried through with deeds, that ownership of that. I have no oh, idea. You know, probably that some of them didn't know it. Yeah. Because I know the other person did, but yeah, huh, that's interesting. I'm trying to not spend too much time and resources on this, but yet try to get to the bottom of it, if you will. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good thing to do. So yeah. we're on board. With we'll, we'll definitely have people for an article this year. Maybe not everyone, but yeah, that's fine. Good. And I'm hearing through the grapevine that I think you're right with your assumption that Train Hill Road is probably going to stay way, the way it is. Yeah. But which is fine with me. Right. But we are going to make contact with them. The yes, owner. Yes. I, I, yep. I, yes. I'm going to definitely make contact with them. Good. Okay. Good. Anything else, Tony? Yeah. I just wanted to um, let you guys know that. Uh, the lighting improvement project at the wastewater plant. Yeah, I was, saw that uh, was was completed, and um, everything went really well. Once they got on site, it took about two and a half days for them to complete the job. What they did was they transferred or changed all our lighting and ballasts um, to energy saving ballasts and LED lighting, and um, you know it was all through a grant through the green community in Stockbridge, mm -hmm. and um, we I signed off on the work and Mike Canales um, got the second second part of that to actually confirm that um, you know they can be paid or whatever or how, where the funds come from I'm not sure so the mm -hmm. funds can be released through the, the town accountant through that grant so that should be wrapped up you know pretty soon and uh, it went really well and you, when you come to the plant next you can definitely tell we have new lights <laughs> <It's a little> <laughs> brighter <laughs> oh yes <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> Let's say on a dark morning. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Now they're going to need new paint and a whole slew of other yeah. things. Yeah, oh, I, I didn't notice the paint needed doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that just so, um, and other than that, I, I'm trying to think. Um, no, it's been, you know, it's been kind of quiet, which is a good thing in good. January, February, water sewer world. Yeah. How's the ice on the, any problem with the ice with this cold weather? I worked this weekend. Um, it was my work my weekend to cover and um you know obviously you guys know that we run um the uh yard hydrant lines yeah. kind of on top of the water on yeah. both clarifiers that we have running and yeah uh, you know zero degrees both mornings and um just a little bit of ice along the edges and stuff but nothing that i had to call anybody in to help me with or anything good, good. Okay. yeah okay good so i have a question for tony here so sure. um Nom kegs, sewer and water. Um, I may have missed a meeting or something. What what what's the what's the story on nom keg? They put all new sewer and water in from church the, their church street entrance. Okay. Is it what what size main did they run up there? For for water? Yeah. Uh, they ran six inch six inch and what kind of flows are they getting do you know that i couldn't tell you that'd be a mic question okay um, and i don't know if they if they've actually floated it yet or not peter the water but they um, the, they are connected correct yes they are they are connected um and the sewer was active prior to the water being activated um but yes they are connected okay how, how far up tony did they go with the water did they go up to the hydrant at the uh the barn yes if they they went past the barn. They went all the way up to, well, they, they looped the barn in all new and they went up to the maintenance house. Yeah. yeah. And then they can, and they also, it's, so it's a main, it's a main new feed. And then the arteries off it, um, some of them aren't changed yet, but some of them were newer. So they just kind of reconnected to them. Because there's another hydrant up there also. 
Yes, it's up. It's up at the top of the hill. Yep. yep. Um, I believe they replaced it. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Long overdue. Yeah. And I have one project, other. Actually. I have one other question, maybe for Jennifer. Um, the town report. When is that due? Uh, the twenty second of February. And to whom shall it go? Teresa. Teresa. Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> Peter, I'll try to get something out in the next week or so through an email to you, just a little synopsis. Very good. That's that. That would be excellent, Tony. All right. Okay. All right. If, if there's nothing else on the agenda, um, Peter, you want to make a motion? We adjourn. I move that we adjourn the me the February meeting. So, can't wait till March. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Good, goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice night. Yes.